Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and let's get ready with this new Get Ready With Me video. So, right now I'm going to do some moisturizing, use a little bit of mister and some baby lotion. Uh, it works a lot of wonders, and it's a cheap primer. Alright, so I'm putting on my contacts and I'm moisturizing my lips just for uh, later. And now I'm going to be adding some uh, super white foundation that ended up being too light for me when I bought it. I actually use this stuff for uh, cosplay and I need to buy more, but it also works as a good uh, color corrector and highlighter. And that's why I've been using it for uh, when I'm not cosplaying. I actually have to get more. It's one that I'm a huge fan of. It's by Tony Moly. And it was for, I believe, the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, because it's Pikachu, but it's really cute. I use it all the time. So next I'm going to be using my color correction palette, and I'm going to be using green for redness, uh, peach for uh, dark circles and spots such as my freckles, and I'm going to be using a purple, uh, mainly because um, I am Asian American technically, and I have inherited my family's slightly yellow or uh, undertone, so I have to kind of cover that to even out my skin. Uh, so next I'm applying my foundation. I just buy the cheapest one I can get my hands on. Uh, well, next to cheapest because I still like quality. Um, and this one is really good coverage. It's a little bit thick at first and it takes a few minutes to dry, but it works. Um, I use it about because I, I have a wide face because of my weight. Um, and I have a fairly large neck. I have to use probably about three and a half pumps. Two and a half to three and a half pumps, uh, and I have to take care of my eyes. So next I'm going to be using a translucent powder. Um, I got this one Christmas, and it's kind of busted up and stuff. It's really nice. It also minimizes pores, so it looks really good. Um, it doesn't leave an overly powdery finish. I just dust off my face, and it helps a lot take out that uh, powdery. My back actually ended up spazzing because I had stuck. Um, next I'm going to be, uh, contouring my face, um, just normal contouring, cheeks, temples, uh, nose, and I forgot to do the chin at this point, so, yeah, I do the chin towards the end. Um, I'm also highlighting, just hitting my high points, uh, making my nose look smaller and everything. So if you notice, I kind of like to have a little dance party while I'm doing it. So I'm taking right now the lightest base I could find so everything pops. And I'm also doing my eyebrows just so I don't forget later on in the game because I've been known to forget and my eyebrows can be pretty sparse sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dance party. So now I'm going to add uh, three colors that I'm pointing at from my Moodstruck uh, Unique palette. Um, it's Moodstruck Addiction uh, Shadow Palette. I like this a lot. It has a lot of good neutral colors, but also shimmers and mattes. And um, I didn't realize the shimmer, which was one of my bases, got all over the place. So my face was really glittery. I actually turned on the light like that, and it was a mess. Uh, and... I um, didn't realize that it got all over my face, but the light I had to turn off because it was messing up how I was perceiving the color. So I had to go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, but um, I really liked how it turned out. I decided to go for a deep set eye to kind of give it a more American punk look, in my opinion. So next I'm uh, just drawing out the basis of my wings and I'm tight lining as well. Because I feel like a eye that's like fully rimmed and stuff um, looks a little bit more edgy for the look I'm going for. Um, and I was, I used my uh, Besame uh, mascara cake to uh, kind of set it um, up as a liquid liner uh, look. It turned out really well, I think. Um, so this stuff stains, so I have to like only wear a tank top if I'm doing makeup and I know I'm going to include that 
So if you choose to get that mascara cake, uh, be careful. So next I'm using the actual mascara cake as a mascara. Um, and surprisingly, I didn't get on my face because usually I'll get a couple flecks all over and it's a pain in the ass and it's a lot of wiping. So next I'm just repowdering my face, getting any excess off, and I'm curling my lashes to give it a more open look because we're not applying white to the bottom lash line. I'm also applying my contour to my neck and my blush and I'm going to dust it off a little bit to um, knock off any excess which kind of which works really well because like it doesn't leave that powdery look and I'm applying my uh, lip gloss again. and now comes the 10 minute uh, shortened down to X amount number minute uh, thing of me doing my lips so I uh, use dollar store lipstick with the exception of like two or three things I own that were pricey and I do about a layer, like one or two layers of it to build up the color. Um, but I have to apply lip gloss so it slides on and I have to blot it and it's a lot of stuff on it and all that jazz. And then right after that I clean up and I add another red lip gloss. I that makes it a little bit darker in shade but still fairly pink <sighs> it's a pain and finally I so I'm doing touch-ups obviously and finally I add after blotting again another layer of a uh, darker shade of lip gloss which definitely works out in the end I got that pretty cheap and now for the tedious part so I put my hair in buns and I sprayed them I recommend doing it overnight, but I did this over the period of like four hours and it still turned out pretty good and it's still standing as I'm recording this. Um, it's a tedious process and it hurts sometimes, but also be careful because your hair will not sometimes. And uh, what I did was I just pulled out all the uh, rubber bands and stuff and I let them stay in their balls a little bit longer and I sprayed them as well. Uh, and it turned out pretty well, I would think. Um, as you can see, I just sprayed them, uh, and you can see you get these nice, like, very, like, 1940s-esque curls, or, like, a perm level of curl stuff. Uh, I compare it to Gray Sadler from Will and Grace sometimes, um, on well, the past, like, week and a half. Um, so I'm just spraying again, and then I'm gonna stand up, I think. Yeah, I do stand up. Uh, and I braided my bangs for, uh, what you'll see. Um, so in order to record this, I had to actually stand up and adjust my tripod. Uh, so I just did it in a standard way. You put a high bun, flip your head down and pull up. And then, um, I just brushed out till it was slightly smooth on the top and it looked fairly uniform. Um, and then I spray it to add more volume and stuff followed by me undoing the braid and it took a couple times, but I was able to adjust it and pin it, and there's the completed look. And there you go. The Get Ready With Me, uh, booty kick edition. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just spraying on my shirt, um, above, above my tank top. So, yeah, so this is the outfit. Um, I feel like it completes it. Like, it, it gives me a more tougher appearance, especially when I wear my, uh, wool coat. Because <laughs> it's cold here. Um, so, yeah, that's all for the makeup. I'm probably going to end up cutting out a bunch of this rambling. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any makeup looks you want me to try, uh, link them and comment and let me know. Uh, if you ever want to do a collab, uh, always shoot... I'll have my email included or DM me on my uh, Twitter, Instagram, or my Facebook page. Uh, I'm always open to do collaborations. Uh, it just is a matter of me having to buy more foundation because I'm almost out of foundation and expanding my color palette because I don't have that big of a color palette anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully audio will be slowly getting better because I'm going to be hopefully getting a uh, mic soon um or at least bring remembering my lapel mics uh so yeah 
I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!